The success of the Medal of Honor series has been built on its amazing accuracy in capturing the feeling of combat in World War II. For the latest game in the series, Medal of Honor, Rising Sun, the player fights his way through the Pacific Theater as Marine Corporal Joseph Griffin. To ensure accuracy and compelling gameplay, the team from EA Los Angeles went to the ends of the earth to visit the sites of some of the most infamous locations of the war. These included the bridge over the River Kauai, Guadalcanal, Singapore, and Pearl Harbor. There was a team of six of us, pretty much a representative from each of the various departments that spent about three weeks traveling through almost every location that's in this game and actually interviewed people, went to museums, tried to collect as much data and information as we could so we can make the game authentic. Eighteen days of grueling hell. <laughs> It was one of the, the, the hardest trips I've ever been on in my life. One of the most compelling levels in the game has Corporal Griffin trying to destroy the infamous bridge over the River Kwai by derailing a train traveling the span. There, the team discovered that the bridge was not exactly what they expected. We started in Thailand, and we went out to Kanchanaburi, which is where the actual bridge over the River Kwai is. And we got a lot of not only good physical reference, but being there really gives you a sense of why these things are important. Everyone has seen the movie, and if you see the movie, it looks like it's this massive bridge that spans this massive river, and it's just not the case. The bridge is tiny. There are instances where we're trying to walk along on the bridge, and you have to literally move over to the right-hand side to let a couple of people pass you, then move back over into the middle and walk. So it's this really, really narrow bridge to the point where we were almost scared of falling off of it in certain places. So it's just kind of put everything back in perspective for us when we were there. During the war, Marines on the island of Guadalcanal were constantly bombarded by gun emplacements, which they named Pistol Pete. In the level by the same name, the player must destroy them in order to lead the assault on Henderson Field. Capturing the look, feel, and sound of this environment was very important to the team. For me personally, just kind of stepping back from the crowd and walking through the island and recording stuff was really surreal. And you're in an environment where the insects are so loud that you can barely hear your feet hit crunchy dirt or grass. So we will make the sounds as real as possible and we will add in everything from wind blowing and tree fronds blowing in your face to grass blowing and that's literally how it was when we were in Guadalcanal. Totally different from anything else that I'd ever experienced recording wise. Those were definitely the most harrowing of jungles that we went through. It looked like it must have looked back during World War II. Tall grasses as tall as a man's head, we were trekking through that. Mud all over the place, it rained on us. There were instances where we were walking along a path and one of our guides would tell us, be sure when you're walking around, to look on the ground. If there's open ground, you're sure to find something. We went through and actually got to discover sites that were still there, that still had live rounds, some that actually still had bones in them. And then we crested a hill and came up on a foxhole that they had dug out the day before for us. And there were probably about 25 live mortar rounds in this pit that we were able to just handle, you know, pick up and look at. They were still live. And they were in this beautiful, pristine setting that had been the location for a, a huge battle about 60 years ago. We had the most gorgeous cloud configurations with light streaming down. It was almost as if you could have imagined a host of angels coming down out of the clouds. And yet, we're trying to imagine conducting warfare on this beautiful, beautiful paradise setting. While on Guadalcanal, the team discovered that some of their designs had to be revised to match the actual scenery, including the placement of Pistol Pete. 
We were visiting this field that they had littered hunks of airplanes and tanks and all the stuff that had been scattered around they kind of put in one mini field in the jungle. And while we were there looking around, we looked off in the distance and there was this nice rolling green hill and Chris Cross, the lead designer of the game, he pulled me aside and said, well, okay, right there, that's Pistol Pete, that hill. And our initial concepts and initial storyboarding of that level, it had shown the Pistol Pete Mountains as being very rocky, not very much vegetation on it whatsoever, and it turns out that that doesn't exist in Guadalcanal. So that right there is a one-to-one -one comparison of what's going on in the game. One of the main goals of Medal of Honor Rising Sun is to find Yamashita's gold. And in Singapore, the player will need to use stealth to find crucial information leading to its capture. We turned and looked to the side at the gutter system they had there. And, you know, it was destroyed and it had a, a unique feel to what you would imagine with a gutter system. And Chris and I just started talking. We're like, hey, you know, that would be really cool to incorporate into the game, uh, like a stealth area or some place you had to sneak into or hide in. I actually told Dan, our historical evaluator, hey, go jump in that. I want to get reference for how low you can go. Can you crawl through it? You know, how far can we go around in this thing? And instantly sparked. OK, that's a great stealth point. And we had civilians just walking by and just looking at it, just thinking, what a bunch of idiots crawling around in our sewer system, you know? But we definitely did revise some of our gameplay based off of what we saw there. Just like in past installments of the Medal of Honor series, Rising Sun starts off with a frenetic beginning. The team's final destination is the spot of the game's beginning, and where in 1941 the United States was thrust into war. We went to Pearl Harbor and we made contact with some people from the Navy Public Affairs Office and they got us access to Ford Island, which is where the movie Pearl Harbor was shot. It was one of the places that were attacked during the invasion of World War II on December 7th. There was actually places on the asphalt on Ford Island where there were bullet strafing marks. We went onto the Missouri and being stationed on a ship is a lot different than you would think because you always see submarine movies and they feel like they're huge and you can move around and play ping pong and crap like that, but <laughs> it's really a tight environment and trying to get that sort of claustrophobic feel and, and imagining being trapped below decks with bombs going off right on top of you. That's absolutely important to try and get into the game, that paranoia of getting trapped inside a tin can. As you can see, accuracy is vital to the Medal of Honor team. Next month, we'll follow the team to the deserts of Arizona where they researched vintage weapons and were trained in World War II-style combat. Be sure to catch it.